Welcome to the Sam and Joe VA Show, where we teach women just like you how to start and scale a thriving virtual assistant business. We're your hosts, Sam and Joe, and get ready to have the control, flexibility, and freedom you've always dreamed of. Welcome to episode 87 The Mindset Shift Every Agency Owner Must Make. Mm, yeah, this this was a little bit of a um aha moment, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, mm-hmm. but we were, we were very recently we were chatting to a one of our members club members whose next step in growing her business is to start bringing on a team. Um and it wasn't until correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, but it wasn't until like talking about um the best way to do, go about doing this that you realize that one of the um, the mind shit, mind shit, <laughs> mind shit um, blocks that this virtual assistant was having was one that you had in your business um, a few years ago. Probably the what, one of the biggest, would you say, in terms of the growth of your own business? Yeah, this is this is the thing that you, if you are an aspiring agency owner, or you are an agency owner already. And this is the thing that is going to take you from where you are to growth, leveling up, having an incredible agency that actually gives you the flexibility, control and freedom, right, that we all want coming into this industry. And without making this mindset shift, you are only going to hold yourself back. And that is exactly what I did for six years oh six years I didn't realize how big an impact it was going to have when I made this mindset shift and my husband who's a business coach said this multiple times to me and I never got it until I saw the impact that it had when I made the shift and I made the changes so what, so okay, what about, was it? about to let you in on the <laughs> secret. I feel like this is like an insider secret that we're about to tell you. Um, and get a pen. You have to write this down. You have to make this shift. When you go from employee to VA business owner, there is a mindset shift that you make, right? And it's quite a big one. It's going from, I'm an employee, I'm just going to turn up and do the things that I need to do. And I'm going to think like an employee where things happen to me and I'm reactive and um, I don't have that much control. Mm -hmm. To being a virtual assistant business owner, where you're now like, right, you are where everything stops you are Mm -hmm. the one that makes all of the decisions and you have all of the control and you need to take ownership of your business you need to Mm -hmm. do the hard stuff like it's up to you yeah reactive as an employee to proactive as a virtual assistant business owner Mm -hmm. like that's a big huge shift massive massive and then You go from virtual assistant business owner where everything is about doing as many billable hours as Mm -hmm. you need to do to achieve your financial goals Mm -hmm. and putting in the, the, making sure you're tracking all of your time and, you know, everything kind of revolves around this billable hours number or focus and productiveness Um, you know and even if you do fixed fee packages as well it's all focused around like working efficiently inside the fixed fee packages so that you're like working for as minimum time possible to make the maximum kind of money if you're doing hourly rate it's all about right how can I get my hourly rate higher how can I work and be super productive and and get the billable hours done and charge the clients Then you go to agency owner, and we see this with other agency owners too, don't we, Sam? Oh, yeah, multiple times throughout the year, yeah. Where they are still doing 
the maximum hours of billable work that they have or that they think they should do, want to do. And what that does is that then it leaves this very small slither of time to focus on sales, generating leads, marketing their business, finding team members, hiring team members. And so they become so stretched thin that they are all they do is stall their progress in their business. And the virtual assistant that we spoke to, like she didn't know, like how is she going to possibly bring on more team members and bring on more clients when she's at maximum capacity? So there's this like, what do I do now? I'm at maximum capacity. And so the the shift is that once you do no billable hours and you switch your time to working on your business and supporting the team members that you're bringing on and hiring them and bringing in leads and bringing in clients and checking in with the clients and all of that stuff that just opens up your business to massive, massive growth. And there's a key phrase that this virtual assistant said. Do you remember what it is, Sam? Oh, no, it was something no, I, something about, I know, I know that she didn't feel as though by taking herself out of that client work, those billable hours, that she wasn't actually going to feel as though she was being productive anymore. That's the key phrase. She said, I still want to do work and be productive. Mm. Mm. And so as soon as I heard that, I was like, ah, there's a mindset shift that needs to happen here. Yeah. We are so used to, as virtual assistants and employees even, of working the hours and being productive and, you know, doing billable work for the clients. And that's how we make money. And we get so stuck in that that's the only way that we're going to make money is to do billable hours but actually working and being productive doing the other stuff in your business that is not billable hours is where you are then going to make the biggest gains in your business mm. working and being productive means marketing it means client management it means onboarding it means lead generation all of those things that is still working and being productive and it's more totally. beneficial right yeah absolutely it's it yeah it's that whole on your business versus in your business and i mean this is stuff that that virtual assistant virtual assistant business owners virtual assistant agency owners are preaching to their clients and their leads that are contacting them this is the whole sales thing right give us the stuff that you know the stuff that you don't need to be doing We'll take that off your plate so you can work on what matters, the bigger picture growing your business. Now, we're mm. preaching that to all our clients, forgetting to do it ourselves. Mm. So if you are now wanting to grow this agency, make that shift. And yes, we know that you are going to have a drop in your profits initially. That is absolutely going to happen. So you need to be in a financial position where you can do this. But the sooner that you pass over your client work to your new team members that you bring on, the more time you then have to bring on even more clients and more contractors and grow your agency. So you're going to have this drop off of profit, absolutely. But then you are going to see it bypass what you could ever bill on your own. Mm. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. You you've seen it yourself. We've seen it with other virtual assistants that we've coached coached over the years. You know what? Something I want to touch on um, briefly, though, Joe, is this particular virtual assistant that we spoke to really recently. Her her kind of um, her thing, her resistance was around not feeling productive. Hmm. But with these other virtual assistants that we've spoken to in the past, with other reasons like, oh, but that's my very first client like I've given I've, I've given up all of all of my clients you know my team are now taking over all of my clients but 
I still really want to work for this one because it, he or she was my very first client and I really like them and they've become a friend. <laughs> um, guilty. I still have <laughs> one client that I do work for because they are a charity. I've never put their rate up and it's work on the weekend and it's out of town. And that's my kind of excuses and reasons as to why I still have that client. And at some point, I am going to have to hand them over. I was going to but say, I, what, what would your, sorry, I'm going to interrupt you. What would your advice be to you? My advice to me would be get rid of the damn client. <laughs> <laughs> it's holding you back from being able to fully focus in the areas that you want and having that ultimate flex flexibility and freedom. Because you know yeah. what, whenever, whenever the, you know, the occasional time it's like, oh, what are you doing at the weekend or what have you got planned for the rest of the day and you've gone, oh, I've got to work on X, X and X, mm. tell you what, you don't seem happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm not that happy about it, but they are so lovely because they are a charity. So if you're listening and I know that every agency owner right now is still hanging on to that client, um, I hear you. And I know that it holds me back. And what could you do with your time instead of that? Yeah. That is going to make you feel so fulfilled, happy, uh, con in control, having flexibility and having freedom. Um, sometimes we have got to, is it cut the, cut the apron strings? Is yeah. that like your yeah. child holding on to you? Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, you've got to let them go. And yeah. maybe that's going to be my big thing, my commitment. Oh, should I say this and Ooh. commit to this on the podcast? Do it. Do it. By do the it. end of the year, I will have handed over the client to someone else. <sighs> this is a big I moment. Trust. This is a big, big moment. I'm going to so take them on. We're going to remind you of this, Joe. Mm. Joe Jensen. Next next year, the same time next year, let's check in and see okay. if I still have that same client. I'm, I'm going to do a little diary reminder in a year's time. <laughs> um, look, the the other the other reason we hear virtual assistant agency owners reluctant or aspiring agency owners reluctant to kind of hand over that client those billable hours to team members um, is because they're not sure how those existing clients are going to feel about working for somebody else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we're going to do in the, in the kind of future episodes, we're going to do a, a multi-part series because there's a lot to cover in this kind of topic where um, – it's not just the mindset shift, but it's all the like, actually, how do you do it? What comes first? How do you figure this out? Um, how do you hand over the clients? There's so many moving parts and kind of aspects to building your agency. So that's a great topic for mm. us to do in the in the part kind of series. We'll figure out how many parts it's going to be. Um because, yeah, there's a lot. There is a lot to cover. Yeah. But but really, bottom line is no matter the reason that you're reluctant to let go of those billable hours working on your business, this is a mindset shift that uh, you just must make, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If you don't make this shift and then put it in action and, and actually do this, get all of the billable work off you, you're just going to hold your business back and you're never going to get to that point where you fear well, that you that you have in your dreams and your goals, the the agency that you want to build, the life that you want to have, the flexibility, control and freedom. You're absolutely going to hold yourself back. Don't do it for six years like I did. Learn from that. <laughs> do it from the beginning as soon as you start building that agency. Um yeah, and if anyone wants to find out exactly how to do this, they are ready. 2022 is your year to build your agency, to level up. We have incredible resources over in the Members Club all around this kind of growth phase where you are growing your team, growing your profit, 
uh, and really kind of leveling up that business. So if that's you, the best place for you to go is to hop into the Members Club and we will help you along that journey. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Sam and Joe VA Show. If you'd like to find out more, head to the VA Foundry website to check out the Mastermind and the amazing resources, courses and coaching. You can find us at thevafoundry.com.